So this week on Man vs Slug, we are going to be doing a, a, a crazy load of planting because spring is here and I'm behind and I need to get stuff in the ground. Man vs Slug. So what are we going to be planting this year? Well, before we get on to planting things, um, I thought I'd talk about crop rotation. Um, the crop rotation, the idea is to uh, mix up where you're planting things each year so that nutrients they're taking out of the soil or putting back into the soil uh, varies and you get a better yield. And the veg in one bed that we were following last year had a really helpful guide in the back about how you can swap things around um, in your vegetable patch from year to year. But we're going to take crop rotation one step further. Rather than planting things this way, like we did last year, we're going to plant some things this way instead. We're doing crop rotation through 90 degrees. So what are we going to be putting in? Well, uh, we bought some onions this year. Um, last year, you'll remember, we planted leeks in the top bed, so we're going to be putting those in the, in the lower bed because they're both alliums, um, even if the leeks didn't really work. Um, we are going to be planting the onions along the front here. Now, I know that seems like the back from where I'm stood, but most of the garden's over there, so that's really the front. And the sun comes in from that direction. Onions tend to grow quite slowly, so they'll be able to get the light that's coming in there throughout the, throughout the season. Behind the onions, we're going to be putting the broad beans. They, they make for quite tall, big plants, so that's why we wanted the onions in front of them. Um, we really enjoyed the broad beans, so we're going to be putting a lot in. And you'll see later on us planting those, uh, getting the seeds ready at least. Um, and then behind the broad beans, we're going to put a row of potatoes in here. Um, again, they're big bushy plants, and we wanted them sort of at the back um, so they can, they can grow without blocking the light of the things in front. What are we going to be doing in the top raised bed? Well, I think for this week, we're just going to be putting lettuces in. Um, we'll have to look at the spreadsheet my son's been coming up with, working out what else we're going to be planting. And uh, later on, we'll also be putting some um, tomatoes in pots so that we can put those into the greenhouse later on. Build a bit of manure um, just to add a little bit more nutrients back into the soil. We probably should have put this on in the winter, allow it to rot down, but better late than never, perhaps. So, as I uh, play catch up, we're starting off with the bull beans, which last year really surprised us how, how good they were. How if you like peel them, double skin them they make such a nice meal and yeah we really enjoyed those so I thought I'd do loads hence I have got 20 loo rolls here um, which I'm filling up with soil and the plan was to do 20 broad beans now we had some seeds left over from last year and I just counted them and there's 15 so I won't be able to do 20 I'm not gonna go out and buy more this year we will just have, I don't know why I'm filling up 20 loo rolls either, but yeah, we're going to have 15 broad beans, and that will probably take up a huge amount of space in the vegetable patch. So here we are, uh, Bunyard's Expression, same, same variety as we did last year just the 15 seeds left. There we go, all greens potted up. They are gonna go on the, uh, the windowsill inside. And uh, when we've got some seedlings, maybe they'll go into the greenhouse when it gets a bit warmer. So here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, here we have a seed tray which one of my sons potted up and in it are 15 chilli plants and uh, yeah he decided we needed more than the three we grew last year so he's planted 15 and now I'm down one seed tray um, but his plan is to make me a, a hot sauce with fresh chilies and he went out and uh, in the garden centre found the packet of seeds with the highest Scoville rating um, so these are going to be really hot chilies uh, last year out of the three plants we had one chilli so maybe we'll Maybe we'll end up with five chilies, maybe more. He's quite keen this year. So for planting the onion sets, um, well, we've got the cardboard under here, which hadn't rotted down because I didn't put it in early enough in the, 
the winter, I'm just gonna punch a hole through the, uh, the cardboard. Uh, we've got a mixed bag of onions, got red, white, and golden and whatever. And I am just gonna be poking them into the hole. They're meant to be about three centimeters down, and they're meant to be about five inches apart, which I reckon is, woo, maybe, maybe we'll call that five inches, and plant a whole bunch of onions along here. Despite the fact that uh, I haven't really planted anything yet, I am already over planting my vegetable patch. Um, we had some some garlic in the fridge that had started sprouting. And one of my children was quite keen that we uh, we plunk it in the ground and, and grow some garlic. So I'm, I'm putting in a row of garlic uh, in the same way as we planted last year, rather than the crop rotation. Because hey, you know, it's why not? Let's mix it up. Lettuce was a real big hit last year with the, uh, the little gem where we did lots of Caesar salad. It was fantastic. Um, I didn't thin it out particularly last year. I'm going to try and do better this year. But I'm going to plant a, a row of lettuce essentially sort of just along the front here so it's nice and easy to pick. Uh, we also got in that tin of seeds, we got some uh, Lotto Rossa, which is uh, more of a leafy kind of reddish lettuce. So I'm going to I'm going to do half this row of little gem and half of the other type of lettuce. And then we'll also put some of the little gem into the greenhouse. Um, still undecided whether to use the, the opportunity to thin out here and maybe transplant into the greenhouse or whether just to sow directly into the greenhouse. But uh, for this week, I'm just going to be sowing in here. In the garden center this weekend, we saw tomato plants for sale at kind of this high. So I definitely feel like I'm behind the game in planting my tomatoes. This year we got bought some, uh, some money maker and we've got from last year, the gardener's delight. I'm not going to do the, the ones which were determinate, indeterminate, crazy tomatoes. I'm just going to stick with the regular tomatoes. And for highly romantic reasons, I am only planting tomatoes uh, in the greenhouse this year. I'm not going to be doing any cucumbers. So uh, to set off with, we're going to plant whatever, six, yeah, seven pots of each type of tomato. Uh, if I've got enough seeds of that type. And these will sit inside on the windowsill um, until they're established and then they will go out into the greenhouse. And a couple of seeds per pot so that we have a chance of getting uh, a plant in every pot. That's the money maker and the wind took the gardener's delight for a walk. So now for seven, seven of these. So can you remember which one um, I planted the money maker in? Because I need to plant the gardener's delight in the other one. About three seeds in there. I think it was that one. So I'm going to go with this one. Just whack the rest of the seeds in and see what happens. I think that will be all for this week uh, in terms of planting. I might get carried away, but then this video will get way too long. Um, yeah let me know in the comments um how, how you're progressing with your your garden um let me know how far behind i am uh, make me panic and hopefully we'll uh, we'll do some more planting next week and uh, we'll see see if we can catch up oh one last thing for this week we're going to put a few radishes in <laughs> 